Hello, Assalamualaikum everyone. Okay, so today I am going to explain to you how to write your introduction paragraph. So in our previous videos, I have explained to you about the basic format of your essay writing. Now, this time around, in this video, we are going to take a look at how to write the introduction paragraph. And we are going to focus on these two things. The first one is the different techniques to write your introduction paragraph. And the second one is how to write your thesis statement. Okay, now let's go. Okay, first, writing an effective introduction. Why is it important? Great writers know that effective and impacting essays begin with an interesting and engaging introduction that reveals their thesis and purpose while capturing the reader's attention. So a good introduction is very important for you to get the reader's attention. Okay, introduction, it helps you as the writer, as you are writing your essay, we consider you as the writer, okay? So, with a good introduction, it helps you as the writer to reveal your idea or thesis to guide your readers to important ideas in the body of the essay and to provide relevant background information to help readers understand the essay's purpose and thesis. Okay. Alright, so before writing your introduction, it is important to determine whether your purpose calls for a formal introduction. Okay, so for example, in a narrative writing, it is often acceptable to start with the first event in your story instead of providing background information. But if you are writing an informative or persuasive essay, it is important to provide the introductory paragraph that prepares the reader for what lies ahead. Any introduction must clearly relate to the rest of the essay. So for your test, for your expository writing, it is a formal uh, essay and it's, it is expository. Okay, So you have to write a formal introduction. Now, here are some of the strategies that you can use to write your introductions. Based on my experience, some of the students tend to write their introductions with uh, the word nowadays, uh, recently, or in this globalization era or something. Actually, there are many other ways for you to write your introduction, and I am going to share with you eight of the introduction techniques that you can apply while writing your introduction. Okay? So introduction should always include an introductory device that leads into the thesis and stimulates the reader's interest in the topic. So the following examples are all excellent ways to gain your reader's interest in the topic. So we have first describe a scene or tell an anecdote. Anecdote is actually a short story, uh, fiction or make believe stories that you tell or you write related to the topic given. Number two, provide relevant background information. You can start your introduction that way. Or you can, number three, address your readers directly. You can start by using a comparison, contrast, or using an analogy. Number five, use a startling remark or statistic. Number six, ask question or present a problem. Number seven, use a quotation. Quotation means um, important sayings from prominent figures, okay, from important people. Okay, eight, define an important term or concept. So you use definition. Now let's take a look at the definition or the explanation for each of the introduction techniques here. First, Describe a scene or tell an anecdote. So this is an example of how you can describe a scene or tell a story that is related to your introduction. Okay. 
So you can read this on your own or you can pause the video if you need more time for you to read. So this is an example of how you can start with a story or an idea. The second one, you can also start your introduction by providing relevant background information related to the topic given. Okay, and this is how you can start uh, your essay with providing background information. Alright, moving on to the next one. You can also address your readers directly, like this one. Okay, so this is a direct, like you are communicating directly with your readers. Number four, you can start your introduction by using a comparison, contrast, or analogy. For example, like this uh, paragraph here. Okay? Number five, you can also start by using remark or statistics. Startling remarks. Okay. How to do it? By, for example, like this paragraph here. So, if you notice, you need to know a lot of facts and figures and also statistics related to certain topic. So that is why it's very important for you to do your reading before you start writing. Okay, technique number six is by asking questions or present problems. So, for example, like this one, you can ask question, uh, but not too many questions in one paragraph, just a f one or two questions and then you can leave it unanswered to let your reader think or you can actually answer your own question within the same paragraph. Okay, next, number seven, you can also start your introduction by using a quotation. A quotation means a famous sayings or important sayings by prominent people, important people that you know and then you can start with that quotation and then followed by a general statement of the topic all right but you have to mention uh, who do you quote or who is the person that you quoted you can you can also start this type yeah, using this type of technique you can also start by saying uh, there's a famous saying it goes like this okay and last but not least, you can also start your introduction by giving a definition of an important term or concept. So if you look at in this example here, it is about dumpster diving. So this author decided to start his or her introduction by giving the definition to the word dumpster here. Okay? So, and then, after you have given the definition taken from the dictionary, then you can continue your introduction by giving more background information about the topic. Okay? So, that is all so far, the eight techniques that I'm sharing with you, how you can start your introduction. There are many other ways, and there are many other examples uh, on the internet, so you can just browse and do your own reading uh, and just choose one or two techniques and then you can apply in your own writing. You don't have to take all of the eight techniques or many other techniques that is available out there and then put it all together that is going to be um, hair wire, your introduction. Okay, So just choose one, two or three techniques that you are comfortable with, uh, do a practice of it and then during the test you implement that technique okay so remember you don't have to apply all of the techniques to write your introduction all right so what to avoid the don'ts in your introduction paragraph first don't be too obvious avoid bold avoid bold statements such as in this paper i will discuss the causes of failing or crisis this is too it's too weak. It's for very at the beginning level. Okay, so avoid um, statements like this. Number two, don't apologize. Avoid self-critical statements such as I do not have much background in this subject. 
or I am not sure if I am right but here is my opinion. Okay, don't do that. And number three, don't use overworn expressions. Avoid empty statements such as love is what makes the world go round or haste makes waste. Okay. Alright, now we are going to take a look at the thesis statement. As you know, after you have written your introduction, at the end of your introduction, you need to provide a thesis statement. So what it is a thesis statement? Okay, so thesis statement is at the introductory paragraph. It is a statement or a sentence. Okay, it's one sentence that reveal the essay's central idea. So this is what thesis statement is all about. It's a sentence that reveal the essay's central or main idea. So your whole essay is going to be uh, summarized in one statement. Including a thesis statement at the end of your introduction will help you practice clear essay organization. So with a clear thesis statement in your introduction paragraph is going to make it very easy for the reader to follow and to read your essay or your writing piece. All right? Now let's take a look at how to write the thesis statement. Okay. Again, a thesis statement is a very basic. Uh, the very basic thesis statement is a single sentence at the end of the first paragraph that tells the reader the main idea of your essay. And a thesis statement should do these three things. Number one, it should clearly express what the essay is about. Number two, it should make a discussable point. And number three, it should indicate the structure of the essay. Okay, now let's take a look at what thesis statement is all about. All right, now I'm going to start with an example. The original thesis or the topic here is chess is a great game. So that could be a thesis statement as well. However, is it clear? When you say that chess is a great game, is it clear, the thesis statement? Is it discussable? Or does it indicate the structure of the, the, the essay? We know that when you're talking about chess is a great game, we can see that the author is trying to talk about uh, how chess is a great game. But what is the structure? Okay, so what you can do is that you have to give a clear thesis statement. Playing chess is a popular activity among students because it is inexpensive, engrossing, and can be played almost anywhere. Engrossing means you are so focused on the game, sometimes you forget about the time. Okay? So, this is why chess is a great game. Inexpensive, engrossing, and can be played almost anywhere. So, this is the three ideas that is going to be uh, explained further in the essay. So, we know that it is clear that chess is a great game because of this three main ideas, uh, you can discuss it, not just, uh, probably not just these three, but there are many other great uh, criteria why chess is a great game, but we are focusing on these three, eh, according to the author, and does it indicate the structure of the essay? Well, yes, because as you can see, the author is going to talk about how chess is first inexpensive, followed by the second paragraph in Gossi, and the third paragraph that it can be played almost anywhere. Okay, so this is why a thesis statement provides the structure of the essay. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, another example. Many Americans are buying foreign cars. Not just Americans. I think the same goes with Malaysians as well. So, many Americans, or we can say that many Malaysians, are buying foreign cars because of its competitive price, fuel economy, and high resale 
value. So you remember that you are required to have three ideas. So idea A, idea B, and idea C. So in your thesis statement, you have to provide the three ideas. Idea A, for example, in this case, is the competitive price. Idea B, fuel economy. And idea C is high resale value. So you have to construct these three main ideas into one sentence and then put it at the end of it of the introduction paragraph. So that is what we call a thesis statement. Okay? Alright, now let's take a look at another example that I give here. I want to talk about my favorite pet. Okay? So I have decided that my favorite pet is going to be cats. Okay? So what are the things that I'm going to write in my essay about my favorite pet that is cat? Uh, so I have chosen three reasons why a cat would make a good pet for me. And my three points are they are fluffy, they are cute, and they are playful. Alright? So here are some here are two ways that I could write my thesis statement. So the first one, a cat would make a great pet for me because they are fluffy, cute, and playful. Or another way is because of its fluffiness, its cuteness, and its playfulness, a cat is the perfect pet for me. Alright? So, in my introduction, for example, if the topic is about my favorite pet, in my introduction, by applying all of uh, the introduction techniques that I have explained before, I can first define a cat or start my introduction with a story that I have about pets or cats, or I can uh, pose a question, for example, do you have a favorite pet? Or do you like cats? Okay, or I can start with the statistics. If I know statistics related to cats, okay, then that is my introduction. And then at the end of the introduction, I'm going to provide this thesis statement. It's either this one or this one. I can put both. So, all in all, I'm done with my introduction. So, when you, as the reader, for example, read my introduction, you will read about, you know, background information about cat, and then at the end, you know that I'm going to talk about why cat is a great pet for me. And the way I'm going to structure my essay is based on, first, I'm going to talk about the fluffiness, second, about the cuteness of the cat, and also about the playfulness, the third one. And then I'm going to end my essay with a conclusion paragraph. Okay, so that is why it's very important for you to have the idea first, brainstorm, and then you construct your thesis statement. And as a reminder, avoid announcing your intent in the thesis statement. Phrases such as, I want, I plan, I intend, okay, this paper is about, okay, avoid those things. Okay, more example. The subject here is you have to write about a memorable moment in your life. Right? Okay. Memorable moment doesn't have to be uh, all the sweet stuff. It could be like, you know, all the bad experience as well. It's uh, something memorable. So the focus topic here is the day uh, I got my driver's license. So what is it about that day? Unpleasant surroundings, never-ending lines, and also rude people. So the thesis statement, one moment I'll never forget was the time I spent in the department of DMV motor vehicles facing unpleasant surroundings, never-ending lines, and rude people as I tried to get my driver's license. So we know that in the essay, this author is going to talk about these three things. Unpleasant surroundings, never ending lines, and good people about her or his memorable moment that is getting the driver's license. Okay? Take a look at 
another example here. Talking about sports and activities. Your three favorite activities. So this author decided that it could it it is um football, biking, and also roller blading. So the thesis statement is when I have some free time to myself, I like to spend it outside by playing football, riding my bike, or roller blading. So in the essay, the three main points A, B, C have to be football, riding bike, and also roller blading. Okay, now before we end this lecture, I would like to remind you, if, let's say, while you are writing your essay, suddenly you have a change of mind, okay? Let's take a look at about the cat just now, okay? So, the, first you decided that um, the three ideas is, uh, the three ideas are fluffy, cute, and also playful. So, as you write along your essay, suddenly you have a change of mind. You wanted to include that cat are actually a good listener, for example, okay? So, if you wanted to change your idea in the body paragraph, you have to change in your thesis statement as well. So, you have to uh, cut one of these three, fluffy, cute, and playful. So, you have to cut one of them, and then you have to replace it with the new idea. So, once you change it in your thesis statement, then you can change it in the body paragraph. So, if you, again, I would remind you, if you change your idea uh, as you are writing, you have to change your thesis statement again. This is because the thesis statement, it provides the structure of the essay. For example, if you're talking about your cat, about how it's cute, fluffy, and playful, but suddenly, in the body paragraph, you include that cats are a good listener, then it is like you are breaching a contract between you and your reader. Like you did not fulfill your promise. You promised to us that you are going to write about these three things. Okay? These three things. But why suddenly you include something else? Right? So it's like it's like a contract between you and your reader as well. The thesis statement. So again, remember, when you wanted to change your idea in the body paragraph, you have to change it in the thesis statement as well okay so i think that is all for today you can go online you can go and refer to any reference book uh, related to writing to learn about thesis statement there are many um, more um, notes and lectures available out there go and find it and provide more understanding all right okay i think that is all for this time um, see you again in another uh, lecture or another video, right? Okay, bye. Assalamualaikum.